I built the ultimate social media automation to help you grow your following, get more engagement, book more clients, sell more products, and make more money. So let me show you how it works. So I originally built this AI agent all for myself, but I thought I would share it with you all today. And basically this thing does everything. It writes Twitter threads, writes YouTube community posts, Twitter posts, it generates Instagram graphics and carousels and even LinkedIn posts for you. So if you're a YouTube creator or a content creator anywhere, or if you have, you know, a school community like me or anywhere where you kind of have coursework or lessons, this automation does it all. Basically it puts everything into a giant database where you can go ahead and post new content. And then like at the end of the day, you come out with something that has, you know, the main, the main bulk of the content here, why this is valuable. It creates entire copy for LinkedIn like this, an image for LinkedIn. Here's captions for Instagram. And then it even goes ahead and creates all of the image for an Instagram carousel based off of heavy graphics. What's really cool about this system is it's totally customizable to you and your voice. We have these tone of voice guidelines, which changes the way the system writes. We also have these styling prompts for all of the images. So you can go ahead and customize this to your personal brand, all your guidelines, any of the specific CTAs that you want to use for your posts and your captions. So this is a really great way to build your brand, to increase conversions, to drive more traffic, and to essentially get more people following you and make more money. So let me show you how this thing works. So basically the system works in three different stages. This first stage, we're kind of just getting the content. So one of the first things we're gonna do is just get the transcript from YouTube. We're also gonna create a way to get community content from my school community where I teach people all about AI and automation and how to build their personal brand and establish themselves as an expert. And then we're gonna take this content and we're gonna use a second automation to basically extract all of the high value moments, just like pull through the transcript, look through the community content, like what's the most impactful statements that I'm personally making. I basically want to build this system as a way to leverage my existing content. Instead of always having to create new posts over and over again and manage like LinkedIn and Twitter and Instagram and YouTube community posts and all that stuff, I wanted to basically take advantage of like what I was already creating. Like there's a ton of valuable content inside the community. And of course, I think all of my YouTube videos at least have some value in them. And so I wanted to make sure I was able to extract all those key moments and then basically create new content from it and so from there the system is really smart it's going to identify like which platforms we should actually repurpose the content for because not every piece of content will work for every platform so the system is smart and it'll decide which platforms to do that for and then from there basically all we're doing is we're taking that content and then we're actually just writing new content and so we're basically reformatting it because it'll come up with like one key sentence or something like that that's like kind of really valuable like let me go back in here and go back to this example. And so we can see like, this is like the content that I extracted where it's like, okay, I don't hard code prompts inside of make.com. I use chat GPT assistance instead. And you can see like, this isn't structured for LinkedIn and it's not structured for Instagram. So we basically want to create a new structure. Like you can see this looks like an Instagram post, right? We have some like a hook in the beginning, some short sentences. We have some like bullet points or like, you know, like lists down here. So this looks like an, uh, a LinkedIn post. And then the same here, like Instagram has like a different format, right? We can customize all of this stuff to ourselves. And so after we've kind of written the content, we basically identify which platforms that we're creating content for, and then we can create the images, right? Not every platform like a YouTube community post doesn't necessarily need an image. Instagram post probably does. A LinkedIn post may or may not. And so again, we're going to create the images from there and then everything gets stored back into the Airtable database. So let me show you how the system works. I'm just going to go through piece by piece. We're going to start at the top here. We're kind of getting content from the community and from the YouTube transcript, and then we'll move on. So this is the first automation and this is just like a series of scrapers and this is set to run on a schedule. I actually don't even have this active. I can run this manually if I want. And basically what we're doing here is this first one is all set up to do YouTube. And so all it's doing is we're just using a built-in YouTube node inside of N8N and I've just piped in my own channel ID. If you don't know how to get the channel ID for your channel or any channel, you just come into your channel, you can go into more. And if you go down to share channel here, you can click uh, copy channel ID. And then we can just go ahead and we paste this in here. And so what I can do is after executing the step, basically this kind of just like pulls in all of the videos on my channel. So you can go ahead and see like how to get a j job in AI automation. There's an Upwork scraper tutorial that's on my channel, right? And if we come in here, you can basically see like this is the most recent video that I posted down here. So basically what this is doing is this is just getting access to all of the videos. And so if we go into the second step, which is just get video, this is actually getting the more detailed information from each video specifically. Like you can see here, we have some really high level information. But like here we have the full description. We have the title. We have access to the thumbnails and things like that. And so we can go ahead and we can store that in our database too. From there, 
this top route is just getting all of the existing records inside of our list here. If I come into this like little YouTube repurpose thing, it's basically just going to get all of the records that we have here. So we can kind of like create a little comparison because I don't want to add any videos to the list that are already inside of the database. So I'm just cleaning up the data here, checking to see if it exists. And then we're just using this YouTube transcript scraper from Rapid API to basically download the transcript from the video so we have access to the full transcript. From there, we basically just clean up the transcript to put it into like a really clean, readable format. And then we store the record inside of our database. And so you can see here that when we have a full kind of record store, we have the video title, we have the entire description for the video, we have the full transcript here, no timestamps or anything like that, just all the text from the transcript. And then we actually have a link to the video itself if we want to just go directly to the video here. And we even have access to the thumbnail if we want to use that thumbnail for later. And if you're researching competitors or you're researching yourself, this is a great way to see kind of which of your content is working and which is really effective. Next, we move on to this second group of flows, which basically enriches the content and gets all of the data. So this top flow up here basically extracts all of my content from the build room, kind of similar to how I just extracted all of the transcripts. Basically, what it's doing is I have a Google Drive folder that contains like all of my coursework. Like if we pop into the basics and things here, like we can see like we have this like value creation framework and all of this stuff is available inside the community. But there's some really good information here, right? And I want to make sure that I can take advantage of this as much as I possibly can. Or we basically have a way to establish like your own personal brand story and your mission to figure out your ideal audience to sell things to, right? So there's, again, some good information here. It's all stored in this uh, Google Drive folder. And so basically what I'm doing here is I'm just going into the parent folder, which is this folder called the build room. And you can see I have a different subfolder for every single week. So basically I need to get all of the subfolders and then I need to one at a time go into each of these subfolders in order to get to the Google Docs, right? And so from here, you can see we have week, week six, week five, week four. So those are all of the subfolders. And then from there, we're going to just loop over those one at a time because we want to make sure that we can actually search for the information inside the folder. So now if I go one, you can see video application self-evaluation, the strategic email templates, simple Stripe integration setup. And this is the ID for those specific Google Docs within the subfolders now. And you can see this is coming from the week six folder over here. Basically, this will just loop through one at a time to go through all the files in all of my folders. This is going to merge these together. Basically, this top route here is just searching through all the records and we're just kind of like removing any of the duplicates so we don't get the information more than once. From here, we're just actually getting the text from the Google Docs because right now we're just getting like the file name and ID and stuff, but we actually want the text that's contained inside of that document. And then we're creating a record uh, in this same build room content uh, build room content table. So you can see here now we can basically see like, okay, your first 100 posts, the confidence tracker. This is just kind of like the title of this. Here's all the content from it. And because this is going to get processed by AI, like I don't care about formatting or anything like that, right? This is just all the information uh, about, you know, kind of like how to establish your confidence before hitting post. Or if you go through, this is basically everything, right? Like case study documentation, like how to build case studies for your AI automation so that you can book more clients. So again, all of this stuff is available inside the community, but now I have basically all of my modules stored so that I can actually take advantage of this content and start using this on LinkedIn or Twitter or you know instagram or whatever again to drive more traffic to the community to establish my brand to build my personal authority to book more clients to sell more products etc cetera, etc cetera. so basically the next thing i do is i just enrich the content and i literally just created this little router basically just chooses a number between one or two and if it's one it goes to the top if it's two it goes to the bottom and so basically like if i'm enriching the content i'm either taking content from the build room or i'm taking content from my youtube it's just kind of like whatever like pick pick one route or the other it doesn't actually matter to me in this case but it's just a way to kind of like create variety so i'm grabbing my own tone of voice guidelines you know from the airtable database and then i'm going through and this is kind of the prompt to extract the content so it's getting all of the content which is you come into here like basically it's in this field content and i can build this one like how to build your upward profile it's literally going to pull in all of this information about building your upward profile it's going to bring in the data on the tone of voice guidelines and then from here this is a system prompt right so basically in a nutshell what this prompt is designed to do is to go through all of the content and extract as many high value, high impact moments as possible. This is where we're just trying to extract all of the important stuff, right? So identify highest value moments, insights, frameworks, results, any contrarian perspectives, focus on memorable, quotable, or actionable content, prioritize unique perspectives over generic advice, extract both explicit insights and implied wisdom. And there are just some additional standards and formatting and things like this that I put in here, which is basically like sometimes, you know, when you're you know, building something for the community or posting on YouTube, like you get kind of like parts of thoughts, but not the complete thought. And so I want the system to essentially like understand what it is that I'm trying to say 
and enrich it to like fill out the thought and create like the full value picture, uh, you know, within the output here. And then from there, there's, uh, you know, some logic about which types of content will work best on which platform. So Instagram graphics, you know, quote worthy insights, statistics, bold statements, contrarian perspectives or motivational messages, right? LinkedIn is more business insights and professional lessons or Twitter is like quick tips and simple observations. So now the system knows kind of like how to categorize any of the content. And then some details about the output format, a little quality checklist, and there's kind of some examples. So the system basically knows like the type of output that I'm expecting from it. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this once. And we can see here that basically this is the case study builder prompts from week four. It's basically how to build a case study for any of your AI automations. And right now the system is going through and it's extracting all of those high value moments from that case studies module. And so now this is finished. You can see this was the entire input. It took all of that content and it basically, you know, formatted like these little chunks. And so like, here's the output, right? This is basically like the valuable piece of information that it identified. And it's like most automation professionals struggle to see their work as valuable case studies. Here's what I learned from helping my members. Basically, that simple automation that saves someone three hours a week, that's $12,000 annually. So basically, if it saves you three hours a week at $75 an hour, now you start thinking like, well, I can charge my client $12,000 $12, to build this automation for them, if that's the case. Shifting your mindset from someone who just like builds automations to someone who's really providing a valuable service and solving a problem from your client will actually make you the most money in the long run. So it just goes ahead and says, here's the suggested formats, LinkedIn, an Instagram carousel or a Twitter thread. Here's why this is valuable. It reframes imposter syndrome into confidence by showing real ROI calculations and positioning, et cetera. And so it went through and it just pulled out like a ton of these, right? I don't know how many uh, of these outputs <laughs> there are, but there, there's a lot. If I scroll down, look, there's, you know, there's 11. So there's 11 different outputs here. Uh, it actually starts at zero. So I think there's 12 outputs here. So there's 12 pieces of valuable content. It basically is going to go through it's just going to create the records in Airtable. And so if we just come down to the bottom, and I think it's this one here. Yeah, most automation professionals struggle to see their work. And so now this is all stored inside of your database. And so what's really cool from here is now you can actually take this and start repurposing this onto different platforms. So what we've done now is we've scraped all our content just so we have it, right? And now we've gone through and we've just extracted all the most valuable, highest impact statements and concepts that we can in order to create new social media content from there. And so now we get into the AI agent and the AI agent is super cool. It's actually super, super simple. Basically, what we're doing is we're just grabbing a single record at a time. And here's the key lessons from my first automation build and why this is valuable. We're just putting in the content. We're grabbing why it's valuable, any of the platforms that it needs, and then the record ID to make sure that we're saving it in the same spot. And then really, like, this is the entire prompt for the agent, right? It's super, super simple because all we're asking it to do is route the request to like different tools, right? So you're a routing agent that directs content to the appropriate platform specific tool for each suggested format and the input route the content to the corresponding tool. So if it says Instagram graphic, send it to the Instagram graphic tool. If it says Instagram carousel, send it to the Instagram carousel tool. If it says YouTube community post, you guessed it, YouTube community tool, right? And so if we pop inside the Instagram post tool here, you can see basically it's just giving it the content and the value like why this is valuable. It's just getting an image style, which is just coming from these brand guidelines. It's literally just choosing one of these styles at random. And then we have this little Instagram writer, right? We're feeding it the content, why it's valuable. And then any of the tone of voice guidelines, again, coming from the brand guidelines. So if you update these tone of voice guidelines, like your content is going to change. So clients will love this stuff where they're able to customize this to their own personal brand. And we literally just have a prompt for a caption creator with here's what the input that you're going to get. Here's how you can optimize this for Instagram. And then basically like here's a structure that you can follow and then here's what's expected from the output like return only the instagram caption optimize for the platform following the tone of voice guidelines etc cetera, etc cetera. so you come out with a you know uh, a post optimized for the platform that it's writing for and then from there we're just taking the post that's generated from the previous node we're feeding it in the image style guide and then we just have this prompt here and basically this prompt is designed to generate a prompt for an image generator, if that makes sense, right? Like we're going to have, you know, basically want to tell ChatGPT, make me an image for this post. And here's how we're generating the prompt, right? So it's going to get the LinkedIn post content, the style guide, you know, it's going to analyze the post content and then decide the most effective visual approach. Like, do we want a text graphic with quotes? And if that's the case, like, here's how we're going to do it. A powerful quotable insight key stats or metrics, you know, here's the subject and scene. And then here I need like the, the construction rules, right? So start with the provided style guide description exactly as given. Decide between the quote graphic or subject scene based on the analysis. 
et cetera, et cetera. So when you're creating text graphics, emphasize clean typography and text hierarchy, strategic use of accent colors for keywords. So basically we're now crafting the prompt so ChatGPT can generate an image. And then from there, we're just calling uh, OpenAI to generate an image for us. We're converting this to a format that we can then save into Google Drive. And then we're updating the record inside of Airtable once we're done. Cool. So if we come back in here and we ran this and we got this record, like most automation portfolios fail because they show everything instead of the right things. I learned this from PlayStation's design reviews, show your strongest work that's most relevant to your target audience, et cetera, et cetera. The AI agent went ahead and it processed this record. It sent it off to the LinkedIn tool, the Instagram carousel tool, the Twitter post tool, and then it updated the records inside of Airtable. So if you come in here, you can see we have the content, we have why this is valuable, and then we have perfectly formatted copy all for LinkedIn, like you're probably showing too much in your automation portfolio, right? And then we went ahead and we actually created like an image using ChatGPT, which is great. And then we have like an Instagram caption formatted for Instagram. We have images for a carousel, all created with ChatGPT. And then we have little short, little Twitter posts, totally optimized for Twitter. Again, with an image totally generated in our style and our brand, however we want it. If you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to hop into the build room if you want to get access to the workflows that I showed you today. If you also want to learn how to build your personal brand and attract more clients to scale your AI agency to $5,000 plus a month, I teach you everything you need to know inside here. We have members who have sold workflows for $5,000. I show you how to create viral faceless videos. We have tons of step-by-step -step tutorials along the way. And lots of people are in here who have been loving absolutely everything that we've been building. So I'll leave a link in the description where you can check it out. And I'll see you inside.